Hope all you swabbies are still awake. Late night, Mega here. Oh, I'm on the wrong screen. Okay, there we go. And we're back with 16th place. By Mysterian Svin. It's Windy Conditions with an average score of 71.5. All right, let's get into this. Yeah, you wouldn't have noticed anything on the wrong side. Ooh. We have more... I believe this is Sonic & Knuckles music, or it's Sonic 3, one of those two. So, very cool. Tangu Wind is here. Okay, I do have to go up. Oh, really? I can do this. I like wind when we can get extra boosted jumps. Oh, this is fun. And then the wind dies out when we hit the checkpoint. Okay, cool. Now, this is gimmick I just don't really care about. I have seen some things use it in cool and unique ways, even in this contest. Uh, when we go the right way, we can't go wrong. Just ignore me. a little bit of a unique setup. As is this. Okay, although... Oh, you're supposed to... I don't like this enemy. I don't like this gimmick. Uh, I don't know how you're supposed to better handle that. I do like that health. Oh yay, more wind! Yeah, I don't have the timer cured it. Oh. Yeah, I should just go forward. It, it, some of this is feeling like force damage. And as you guys know, not a big fan of that. A couple of okay setups and a couple of setups that I just absolutely hate with this. The wind did not pick up at the time I thought it was going to pick up. Oh, fortunately, there's good checkpointing in this stage. I mean, I would expect good checkpointing from a tier 10 stage. I hate that gimmick. <laughs> this is just one of my most hated gimmicks. Oh, come on. I... That was my fault. just shot the enemy. I like the general concept. The execution, I think, needs some more. It's, it's just this one 
this gimmick. We've seen it so many times in this contest, and I just do not like it to begin with. Alright, get me out of here. We got the checkpoint. Okay, there's an airman up there. Uh, airman's weak to spark shaft, right? His Doc Robot version was in... Yeah. Let's say his Doc Robot version was in there. You know... There's another way to do this. I have an idea. I want to make use of that gimmick. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. I mean, of course it made Airman easier, but that was that was pretty clever. At first I ignored it because, you know, I don't want to get pushed into the thing, but then I realized it's right where he's standing. So it's meant to be a way to kill him. Cool. Thoroughly enjoyable level. No, it wasn't fully enjoyable. Mixing these gimmicks together seems like a tightrope of making something awful or awesome. And you did awesome. It's very prone to just being frustrating and full of instant death with no room for error. But you avoided that. For the most part, I'll give you that comment. Generally, you always know what you have to do, and the parts that are reaction-based are fair and engaging. The pacing of the level is really good. The cannons can make a level grind to a halt. That's pretty much what they did here, too. But mixing them with the Tango Wind made it feel very fluid and good. I didn't like the cannons. I just, I just don't like that gimmick. And I want to penalize the... Uh, the guy for because it was a it was a box he was given that as a box asset and forced to use that um for what it was it was decent there was probably two or three setups with the cannons that i i didn't like in the stage i don't know what i would do to make this level better but it looks feels and plays great lots of thought went into this one i can tell the ball shooters were always positioned in just the right spots to make the level flow nicely and to make their shots go where they needed to with a bit of help. Of course, uh, the wind actually accompanied that pretty well. Yeah, I, I will agree with that. Although the faster winds did come a bit out of nowhere at times, making it hard to react. Hey, you guys ever play uh, Cannabalt? I like Cannabalt. I never really thought that Cannibalt needed a segment in the middle where you stop running and persuade a flower pot to move some bricks for you. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I haven't played Cannibal. I don't know what that is. But I guess that it has to do with the high winds and running. Stop referencing things that people might not know what they're referencing about. Anyways, uh, the earlier parts of this level where you're just riding the gales are pretty fun. Yes, albeit extremely glitchy with the ladders and sliding and wind occasionally getting you killed via clipping. I didn't experience that issue, but uh, it probably does happen. The checkpoints are placed extremely generously as well, which is nice to counteract all the instant death. Yes. And the setups with the Bokuzras early on are good. They're introduced well. You ramp up the difficulty well without relying on any cheap gotcha moments. But then they get used together and the level just kind of hits a wall. Jump, jump, slide, slide is fun. Citation heated. Bokuzra is fun. No, it's not. No, it is not. And I know what your idea of fun is and that's... Yeah, that's all that needs to be said about that. But they're not two great tastes that go together. The wind makes it impossible for you to get any really interesting setups. 
and the Bakuzura blocks obstruct your potential wind joyride. I think to some degree, being able to pause and not just have to constantly go full force in the wind can have its advantages. But yeah, at the same time, it does stop the, the joyride of doing that. The funny thing is that it does give players a, a chance to breathe and collect thoughts and, and observe what's going on instead of always be in jump, jump, slide, slide mode. Uh, the funny thing is that this level perfectly fulfills the formula what everyone says a Mega Man level should look like. You introduce and test gimmick A, introduce test gimmick B, and then there's a final stretch that uses gimmicks A and B together. This level is a really good illustration of why that formula really isn't a slam dunk, because the level is strongest when the two halves of it are separated rather than awkwardly mushed together. I didn't mind. I will say this. I'm glad. I know that there's been a lot of stages where we wish there was more length, and this was a lot shorter of a stage. But I'm actually glad this one stopped where it did and didn't go on, because otherwise I, I think I would end up, like, disliking it uh, to an extent, rather than having a decent enough time with it. I think a staple of levels that want to use very fast wind is you need to give your players a chance to realize and accommodate when it speeds up really fast, and not stick a pit almost right after. Yeah, that one spot where I died a couple times due to the change. Uh, while being able to change the speed helps keep things fresh, without the time to realize that you're thrust into a high speed zone, odds are you're going right into that pit. Luckily there are plenty of checkpoints to compensate so it doesn't feel terrible. Yep, that was good, but it's not the ideal situation. Outside of that, things are well and good. You know, what could have done is like just some sort of sign or signpost that says high wind advisory just before and like that's the spot where the wind picks up um i think that would have been a perfect indication would have fit right in with the level's theme so i don't think that would have been something that would be like out of place uh the pacing makes sense one gimmick the other than both though the wind can provide a little more than inconvenience in the final stretch if you find yourself going straight first into the machine hitbox, with it being a pain to get back out. Oh, yeah. And even if there were problems here and there, it made sense and was put together pretty well, so good job. Though I don't quite understand the purpose of the machine in the boss fight. It's either supposed to reward you by maybe dunking Airman in a pit, or try to stop you from using certain special weapons. It's not a deal breaker, but I don't think I got the... Yeah, you clearly need to watch my video. You're... Incompetent Mega Man player, but we know this. What do you have to say, Granny-O? Hello there, um... You wouldn't happen to know a Tomothy Daddy, would you? They seem to have dropped their credit card, but I have no idea where to start looking for them. Sorry ma'am, I'm not sure if I've heard of them. Oh, that's a shame. I'm not sure what else I can do. So I think I'll just go back to my room for the day. I had made plans with Bonnie, my cabmate, uh, but then Bonnie decided to spend the day at the boutique, and um, sorry, you don't need to hear my personal problems. If you ever find Tom the Daddy, Make sure to tell me. I'm not going to worry about the side quest right now. Uh, I'm going to worry more about these penguins, ring platforms, chompers. Alright, I'm good with these box assets. Uh, but for now, I'll take my leave.